Hi, and welcome to Composite C1. This is the default start page. Here, you can see your site in the working area. At the left, we have the structural area, which will update accordingly to your actions. Now, let's walk through a few how-tos. Instant editing. Start by browsing to the page you want to edit. Here, you can edit or add new content. When you're done editing your site, you can of course save or save and publish, depending on your rights. Instant editing makes it easy to find and maintain your content. Picture editing. Begin by finding the location in the working area where you want to insert your picture. You can easily insert pictures from your desktop by dragging the file into the editing area. And you can always preview how your site will look before saving. Publishing. When you're done editing content and you want to publish it, you can either publish it yourself or send it for approval. The navigation bar is context sensitive, which means that it will change depending on whether you save or publish instantly. Visual Editor. Let's move on to the Visual Editor. Here we edit the text into two columns from the drop-down menu directly in the editor, and then we add a link to make a button redirecting to our website. Notice, depending on what you're editing, the style selector will change options for you automatically. If you make a link, you have different button options. If you select a picture, you can make it brown, and so on. But most importantly, you will only get the options provided by the designer, making sure your site always complies with the corporate design guidelines. Reusing content. Last but not least, let me show you how you can reuse content. Find the content you want to use, then simply paste it to the new location. Then you can edit the content of the function to your liking. It doesn't get easier than that. If you want to learn more about Composite C1, please visit our website, where you will find more videos and tutorials to get you started. Thank you for supporting the C1 project. Remember to find us on Facebook and Twitter. We would love to hear from you in person.